All right. Now, let me, Lerado, you were here yesterday. Please share with us what you found as an answer. 24x squared plus 8 in one bracket. Slowly, slowly. Okay, in one bracket. 24x squared plus 8. 24x squared plus 8. Plus 8. Close bracket. Yes. Then okay. other bracket. 2x cubed plus 2x minus 1 to the power 3. Splendid. 2x cubed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 2x cubed plus 2x minus 1 to the power 3. Minus 1. Close bracket everything to the power 3. Yes. Okay. Next. Is only one question. Oh, is that it? Oh. Yeah. Okay, please talk to them, my brother. Sorry, 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 sorry to, to talk to you like that. Uh, Lerado. Yes, sir. Please, please talk to Maguena. Remember, Maguena said no, she is finished, but she didn't expand. You said you got 2x, you got, you said you got in the first bracket 2x squared plus 8. In the second Twenty-four. bracket, you got you in the second bracket you say you two x cubed plus two x minus one everything to the power three that's what you said ne? first bracket it's 24 x squared 24 yes plus eight yes, yes. in the in the next bracket is two x cubed plus two x minus one everything raised to the power three ne? yes please please talk to Maguena so that we can hear what she found before we go to the others. McQueen. Agree, agree, agree. Get up on this type of land. We've got a new guy, yes. Dennis, and his hand is up. So it's the first time I see him. Let him maybe get a chance to explain. I don't know his... Where is Mr. Zor? Okay. Okay. Hey, welcome, Abdul. While we are welcoming Dennis, Dennis, please talk to us. Hi, hi. Um, afternoon, everyone. Thanks. Afternoon. No, no. I was just raising, was just raising my hand because I heard you. I heard you talking about what is this? Updating your list. Yeah, this is my first time actually attending the session. I hardly have time to actually attend it, but yeah. Um, yes, it's Dennis the side, and I'd like to also follow as to what question it is that you are doing. Is it exercise two point five point one that you are answering? Yes. Oh, okay. yes. We are confirming the answer to it. So we're deriving h of x, right? We are finding the derivative. Yes. Okay. Okay. No. No. Thanks. Um, I'll be around. Okay. Thank you. Can you. Continue. And you're welcome. Okay. Lerado, please talk to Maguena. Maguena. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Emiso's hand is also up then. Uh, then le, please let's allow Lerado and Makwena, then Ndumiso will follow. Okay, say so, and then I got in one bracket I got two x square two x cubed plus two x minus one cubed all cubed. And then multiply by 24x squared plus it is the same thing as Lerato's. Oh, you two agree? Yes. Okay. Then, since you two are in agreement, please talk to the rest of us about the answer that you two are agreeing on. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I agree. Who agrees? Is it level? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, my sister. What about the others? I also agree. Can you see? Who agrees? Is it, is it can you can. see? Okay. Yes, sir. Erica agrees. Yeah, I agree. 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 
Abdul. Do you agree or yes, disagree? Sir. Yes. I agree with I agree with 24x squared plus 8 in one bracket, and in that other bracket is 2x cubed plus 2x minus 1, all to the power of 3. Thank you, brother. Uh, so, 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 so. <laughs> I agree, sir. I agree, I agree with you. I agree. I agree, but my 24x squared plus 8, I factorized it. You fact 24x squared, squared plus, eight. plus 8. Oh, you, uh, so said, I oh, you wrote it in terms of factors? Yeah, I said 8, then open bracket, 3x squared plus 1. Then I opened another bracket, 2x cubed oh, right. plus 2x minus 1. Okay, thank you, my sister. Now, without wasting time. This is what uh, we are saying. And then... Do you all agree with this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now hang on. Is yes, there sir. a mistake here? Is there a mistake here or what do you I hear yeah, I hear yes, sir, yes, sir. But in the first bracket, we have got 24x squared plus eight. And I agree that if we take out that 8 out, we'll have x squared then plus 1. Here they are having x only. Do you agree with the first bracket? No. No, sir. Which one? And in the middle, your hand was up. Please talk to us. Then I'll come again. Uh, I was sorry. saying I can see. Oh, no problem. No, I was just at the time I was just saying I was done, sir. But here I can see that they factored out. I think they were supposed to factor out 8x and then they just forgot to put the x after 8 there uh, for the final answer there. Yes, okay. All of you seems to be agreeing with the last bracket, the second bracket in the final answer, okay? But now, let's talk about this eight, open bracket, three x plus one. Do we agree that they left, they forgot the squared there? Yes. 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 Okay. All right. So that's what I needed to confirm with you. So that's why it is important for us to work out these exercises and not adopt their solutions as they are. Yes, sir. Um, why did you guys actually? Because there's nothing. Sorry? Why did they factorize? They factored 24x squared plus 8. Why? So they took out 8 outside, OK? I see, sir. So why? Why? Yes. Why? It can. Why? It can be done. Okay. I don't know why they did it. I don't know why they did it, but they just chose to. But then, if, with them doing that, they ended up making a mistake. You see, or forgetting that squared. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. We need to, to to simplify, not to factorize. So why actually, actually all our answers we need to simplify them and just not to make even them if, difficult. Depending on the amount of marks given, even if you stop here, it is still acceptable. But if you go further to simplify. It will still be okay. But you know okay, why they stopped here. Okay, hang on level. Hang on level. I hear what you are saying. And I agree with you. Do you know why 
they didn't simplify further. They didn't simplify further. They were like they manipulated further, actually. Yes, yes. Yes, hey, that word. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you people, yeah, all right. But I hear what you are saying. Now, can we continue? Can we step off this one? Yes. Yes. Okay. So it's can set. I ask something? Yes, is it? Uh, can you see it? Yes, sir. Yes. So, uh, are we saying that the two x stage uh, is wrong, right? Are we talking about that um, that six x in the second bracket? I think these people made a mistake here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. You see, even, even before even before the last step, do you see the, the mistake that they made? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I just wanted mm. to be on the right track. I was a bit confused on That's what we were talking about. Thank you. Can you see that? That's Sorry. why I only focused on this last step. Yes, someone is calling me. It's me, uh, sir. I was doing a question and differentiate with your own methods. So I wanted to ask why, when you differentiate, uh, I'll say the way it was sine x to the power cos squared x. You don't use the what's this rule, man? Chain rule but you introduce lean both sides. We are not yet there. Oh, okay, it's fine then. You see this example, 2.5.7. Lerato talked about the chain rule, but here is the chain rule with the product rule. Please find the derivative of h of x, which is equals to this. Here is the hint, okay. Uh, let me ask Lerato. Lerato, how many minutes to wake up this one? Because we have the hint, it's simple. <laughs> yeah. Three. Please ask them whether they agree with you or not. I swear, do you agree or not? Oh, is everybody in agreement with Lerato? Okay, then uh, three minutes. We agree. Can you see Le? Please talk to Lebo. You too must agree. You must talk to us on what you are agreeing on. Please tell Lebu what you got. Lebu will tell you what she got. And then you will only start to talk to us once you two agree on the answer. Okay. Lebu, what did you get? Uh, you, you must tell me first. <laughs> now nah, you first. <laughs> you first. <laughs> Are you guys really playing the you hang up? No, you hang up first game. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, What did you get? Okay. Mm -hmm. I got uh, five open bracket, two X plus one, close bracket to the power of four, uh, open bracket, two, close bracket, open another bracket, three X minus two, Close bracket to the power seven. Okay. Plus open bracket two x plus one. Close bracket to the power five. Mm -hmm. Open bracket seven. Close bracket. Uh, open another bracket three x minus two. Mm -hmm. Close bracket to the power six. Mm -hmm. Multiply three. Okay, so I I got the same answer, uh, yeah, but, uh, uh, but, uh, but I say I have last step. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Can you continue? Go on, go on. My final step is 10, mm -hmm. open bracket 2x plus 1 to the power 4, open right. bracket 3x minus 2, close bracket to the power 7. Mm -hmm. I mean, close bracket is to the power seven okay. plus 21 open mm -hmm. brackets 2x plus one to the power five okay. open bracket 3x minus two close bracket to the power six 
Alright, I got the same answer. Slow clap, slow clap. Yeah. Okay, guys, you, you all agree with us. No, I have a question. Yes, question. ma'am. Okay, someone have a question. Who have a question? Yeah. Here's a question yeah. It's is it plus or negative in the middle of the product rule? It's plus. It's it's plus. It's plus. Yesterday it was negative. They no. 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 So yesterday we were dealing with the conscience. I think that's how you pronounce it. The conscience. Um. Today we're dealing with the product rule. No, it's can you, I'm actually glad you said that, but he's right. So it was a plus. It's just that it got multiplied into a bracket that had a negative. So then we ended it's up with a negative because it was a negative, negative situation. It was a negative, positive situation, I think. So the plus uh, I, also, I agree with the answer. I only had a negative in between. That's why I was asking, but then it's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's always in between. But if you simplify further and you have a negative something, it will turn that positive to negative. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you. Hello, sir. I have a question. Yes. Yeah. On the last bracket, you say it uh, to the power of six. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Why is or oh, you add. You are separated. I got four hey. to the power four. No, to the power four. Where, where inside bracket is what? No, I'm I'm saying the last bracket where you say it's seven. Open bracket three x minus two. Close bracket. To the power six. Also six. Yes, yeah, suppose two. No, you minus. Because uh, initially oh, so, it was okay. uh, yes. yeah seven minus six yeah that's where I went wrong I said five minus one instead of seven minus one yeah I agree with you okay then Levu and Gia do they all agree with you yes sir yes sir. So it was can you see Levu and can you see Le not Gia oh, oh I disagree can you see so I disagree. Yes, please talk to them so that we, because they can explain. Can you open your ears? Because I'll go through this so fast. Okay, we'll okay. Go. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll try. Okay. Okay. Inside bracket. I mean like inside bracket. Mm -hmm. Or like open bracket, open, open. Still do we understand? Okay. It's a... Uh, Open bracket, 10, open bracket, x to the power 4, close, close, open, 21, open, yeah. 3x minus 6, close, to the oh. power 6, close. Whoa, what are you oh, saying? I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. Oh, man. I disagree. Oh, oh, man. No. What the hell? <laughs> Bro, what did you just say? Okay, this is what she said. She said 10, open no, bracket. My... You want what? My mistake, why it's wrong. That's why I'm saying my answer. Because if there's an agreement, something is correct. Okay, Mine start again. Slowly this time. It's open means open bracket. Close means close. Power six okay. to the power six. Mm -mm. It's open then. You open. open. Wait, oh, I'm you, would you be able to just post your solution to the group? Is that possible? Yes, please. Yo. Yeah, because I'm yeah. confused on what you're saying. Yeah, please no, just post no. it so we can all just go through it together. It's going to be quicker and better. Yeah. Yes. Yo, um, close. Theo or open. Label, while yeah. we're mm -hmm. still at it, can, while he's still posting, can you also take him through step by step as to say what did you do for you to land up there? I okay, oh. he can he can choose who he wants, me or Lebo or can you see like, actually any one of us. He can make he can take his pick. I said I want to you. Okay. 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 Yo. It's your okay. call. Yeah, it's your call. 
Yo, I feel, like I've been, I feel like I've been called to serve in the military. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, he's posted it. I see. Okay. Okay. Let's start. So, Lerato. Okay. I mean, we both agreed we're gonna have to calculate the derivative separately. Blah blah blah. But for the first bracket, I see what you did is. Huh? Okay, what he did here is not making sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm not understanding how the seven times three is no, near the five times two. No, no, it's fine. I think we can, I think because we all know what we're doing, including him, no, we cannot just read it quickly. Nagata, you ready? You know what? Yeah, you, okay, you're explaining. Oh, yeah, you can see, so. You can I see his mistake, Theo. Yeah, yes. You can see his mistake. You can identify. I don't know. That's why I'm asking him if we can go through it together. I'm just waiting for uh, yeah. response. What did he, he have done now? Yeah. He, uh, he differentiate in bracket and then differentiate that uh, to the power. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I, I see. Wow. Okay. That's a very interesting <laughs> way of doing it. Yeah, I see. Because with the trick plus what? Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, I mean, Lagata, are you okay with us doing it the conventional way? Yeah. This is the conventional way. This is the conventional huh? way. The hint says product rule and then chain rule. So I yes, want to see. Yes. Ah, this I'm way. glad. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Can, you, know what? you know what we can do? I've got an idea. Can I post my solution as well? Yes. Yeah. Post. Let me. Yeah. Let me post. Let me post mine as well. Give me two seconds. Well, more like a minute, And Dennis so. is back, guys. Ne? Yeah. Dennis is back. Uh, he's got uh, connectiv connectivity problems. Thanks, boss. All right. We'll talk to him after <laughs> they've, uh, they've spoken. Okay. Let's wait for them yeah. to finish. Okay, fam. I'm sorry for yes, delaying. Yes, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Welcome back, Dennis. Welcome, Dennis. Thanks. Cool. Okay, I'm just, just going through. Please give it like a few seconds. Okay. Uh, it's sent. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, I can. I can, can see, see it. it. Okay. So you see what I what I initially did is I calculated the derivatives separately for the first yes. term and the second term, and then I applied the rule afterwards. And then for the first one, as you can see, the trick plus one to the power of five. I did that derivative, and I got that. And then for the other one, I did that derivative and I got that. And then I just plugged everything into the rule as we know it, which then means because now we've got the product rule, it's going to be the derivative of the first part, which is what you see there on the left hand side, last, last, last line, which is our 10 multiplied by 2x plus 1 to the 4. And so you might, it's the derivative of the first part, keeping the second part the same. And the second part is a 3x minus 2 to the power 7. We're in agreement there, right? Yes, I agree. But it's. Yeah. And then for the next one, it's, ke it's keeping the first part the same and then multiplying by the deriv derivative of the second part. So to me, it all seems straightforward, but I mean, what is it that you do not understand? Like, the, uh, I'm also shocked because it's straightforward on your wiki. It's okay. this thing. Theo, huh? I think he got confused by um, the hint. Oh, when it they says hint. Yes, it said first apply the product, then apply the chain rule to each oh, term. Oh, so that's product. what he did. So he did. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Whereas mm -hmm. you could have actually just done it the uh, way usually used to it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Where, yes. And, yeah. And the thing is, I also did it this way because I did not have long lines of additions and multiplications. So I just did the derivatives separately, and then mm -hmm. I plugged them into the formula that we said. But anyway, yeah. But uh, he sees it, so we good, right? It's it. Hello. No more hints because they take us off road. Because really, I was doing the correct thing. If you check the part that I scratched, I have five two two x plus one to the power four. And then I to do the thing. Mm. Okay, I see what you mean. Now, the, the hint also did confuse me a little bit, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it the way I usually do it, where 
uh, you first find the derivative multiplied by the second function like that, like that, like that, like that. Yes, like the, can you can you agree with you actually? Yeah. The hint was just to like kind of like throw you off, but tell you what you're supposed to do in a way. Yeah, I think with mm -hmm. the hint, they, they should have just stated what you're going to have to use, not this and then that. Yeah. Where they <laughs> could just I... apply the product rule and the chain rule. Then you know, okay, sharp. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Can I maybe interrupt quickly to help Please Lerato? Please do, Please do Erica. <laughs> yes. If you see, I posted also what while well, the beginning of my um, example that I did, and I got the same answer as you did. Something I do that I see you guys don't do is I go and look for my F and my G because all the formulas we have is if we know it as F times G or if divided by G. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it's easier for me to see where I need to apply what rule. Ah. Oh, so awesome. I don't know okay. if that might help Lerato a bit better. Erica, you yeah, know, like, actually, Erica, you're right, because you know, this is how you and I actually do our quotient rule answers, if you noticed, where with the quotient rule, we always calculate our Fs and our F primes and our G and our G primes, and we just plug in. Yes. Okay. So yeah, cool. maybe if he tries that with finding his F and his G or whatever he needs, find the two formulas, separate formulas, and then add them together or multiply them or use the correct rule after that. Ah, uh, perfect. Okay. Erica, thanks okay. for the great explanation. I also did the same thing that Erica did, yeah. but I did it mentally. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mentally. <laughs> I did it mentally. Yeah, I just find if I do it mentally, I make more mistakes. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand. Yeah. Can you see that is? Can you see that is our female Larata? She can do these things in her head. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you see that? I, I also I also use Erica's Lerato. approach on this one here. Hey? The Fs and the Gs. I think that's what simplified it. Yeah, it's great, right, Dennis? So what 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 is the solution? I got ten. Can I add on what Erica said. Lerato. Lerato. Yes, I heard. Can you, if you don't mind, can you, do you mind sharing the product rule, the formula for the product rule in that form that Erica shared with us in terms of f of x and g of x? Fx, f prime, fx, g prime, x minus or plus. I'll confirm it. It's plus. It's plus. <laughs> so with quotient, plus, it be minus, with, co with quotient to be minus and a product will be plus. Yeah. <laughs> Think of it as this way. Think of it as this way, right? We know that product is multiplication, right? And yeah. you know that multiplication addition, you know. Okay. And then yeah. when, you, when you when you multiply same base, you add the exponent product. Exactly. So think of it that way. The, uh, coefficient or division is subtraction, like that. Think of it that way. So that you don't confuse yourself. It's the same basic mm -hmm. things that we learned when we were, you know, in primary or high school. But here with, yeah, all these yeah. things. We, in primary, my sister. In primary, my sister. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Multipl multiplication and addition are cousin brothers. Division, exactly. and, division and subtraction are cousin sisters. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, Hello. In this module, do you do type four? Uh, what's this thing? Differentiation or I don't know. Is it integrating by fractions? Type four, though. Where the numerator is. Hey, Brian, type four. We are still in grade no. one. Yo, we are doing type <laughs> one tonight. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. They have uh, type two. There's type four. Is there an agreement on the answer? Yes, 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 sir. Is. yes, sir. Can we then proceed? Yes, sir. yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Let's check. Let's check what they have. Do we agree with them? Why yeah, do you expect? Yes, yes, yes. 
Sorry? Until step number three, I agree with them. Until step number three, because going further, it might complicate things. So until step what three. Complicate things. Uh, who who okay. wrote this description? I agree with you. I, I, I hear you. Sorry? I need the contact number of the person who wrote this book, textbook. Okay. Okay, thank you. So we agree, ne? Yeah, we do. Yes, sir, we do. Okay. Yes. Sir, can I ask what's Don't happening you? on step number two? The last two steps. Okay, Expanded. okay. Let, let, let yeah. me say this. Abdul, you say up to step number three, ne? Yes, sir, up to step number three is okay. Thank you, brother. Beyond step number three, then uh, it just becomes somehow, ne? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. if we all agree that up to step number three, we are in agreement with them, yes, let's conclude in that way. All right. All right. Yes, Thank sir. you. Now, let's continue. Let's wrap up. You know, these are some of the things that are almost skipped that I thought I, for you, uh, it will just be a walk in the park. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's conclude with this one. And uh, I say we can, this is how many minutes for this one? How many minutes for this? One. The eyeball. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Level. Can we have the hint? Can we have the hint? Hint. Level. Uh, no, no. no. It's, it's, it's quotient level and um, yes, general. How many minutes? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Thank you, my sister. People want hint, say. There's some who want, want the hint. That not me someone someone my colleague okay there is a hint okay dennis and Kia, talk to each other about the answer once we have agreed is then that you can talk to us all right go ahead okay okay cool so with the derivative of h of x the approach is okay well the formula is what is this f prime g minus f g prime over g squared right so i differentiated x so the first one i differentiated x multiplied it by g which is 2x plus 3 um all cubed right so i got <clears throat> for the first one i got 2x plus 3 all cubed minus this time I left my f, which is x, without differentiating it, and I differentiated my denominator, which is 2x plus 3 cubed, right? But then we have to use the chain rule there. <clears throat> so using applying the chain rule, we say um, it's 3 times, all in brackets, 2x plus 3 squared times the derivative of, of the inside, which is 2. So that gives me. Um, if I have to multiply everything, that gives me 6x times everything in brackets is 2x plus 3 squared, all over 2x plus 3 to the power of 6. Clear? Agree with you. That's what I got as well. Okay. Um, everybody else? Splendid. I agree. Denominator to the power of 6. Did I hear you correct? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, pop six. That's two times three. Six. Finite. Sorry, this is this isn't a miss. Can you please repeat the answer? Was a little bit occupied on my side. Okay. The answer. You will repeat. Okay. So the answer. The whole explanation or just the answer? Uh, just the answer. the answer. Okay. The answer. It's it's. In the numerator, it's 2x plus 3, all cubed, minus 6x times, in parentheses, 2x plus 3 squared, all over, in parentheses, 2x plus 3, all to the power of 6. 
agree, agree, agree. Agreed. Thank you, Dennis. Okay. I got it from Wait, say, wait, Dennis, say. Dennis, do you agree? No, yeah, I, I got got a, I got a different. I got a You're different answer. Yeah. Yes, please, please share it with the family. Family, please listen attentively. In the numerator, I got negative 30 multiplied by open bracket 2x plus 3 close bracket raised to the power 2. And then the denominator is the same as everybody. Hmm. Oh, can, can you explain how you got to that numerator? So that we can just take it step by step. Let me see if I can take a picture. Okay, I can take a picture. So what I did was, in the second step, I said h prime of x is equal to, and then numerator I have open bracket 2x plus 3 raised to the power 3. Yes. And then I have, and then I have dx in the bracket 5 minus 5 multiplied by dx open bracket 2x plus 3 raised to the power 3 close bracket all over open bracket 2x plus 3 raised to the power 3. Do you say 5? Yes, I was about to ask. Where did you get the 5? Where did you get a 5 for? It's the 5 in the numerator. No, the numerator is x, not 5. Sorry? Oh, it's x over 2x plus 3, uh, all to the cube. Ish, okay, so sorry. I thought that was a 5. Okay, no, that ah, was my okay. mistake. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that was my mistake. Okay, so okay. I think you're okay now. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, family, for helping out. Hey. That is the reason we are all here to help out each other. <sighs> then, uh, sir, Lagato has a question. Yes, Lagato. The x squared of six is it from the x x times six x? Oh, it's from the factorizing. Are you Which talking about you the denominator? About? Numerator. On my case, I have x in its own bracket, and then 6x times 2x plus 3 squared. That's the part I'm talking about. So I had x squared from somewhere, I'm not sure. Remember, when you on your numerator, the second side, you factorizing... It's, um. You're factorizing your g of x, right? So you have yes. it as your 2x plus 3 uh, raised to the exponent 3. So when you factorize that using the chain rule, it's 3, and then open your bracket, it's 2x plus 3. You close your bracket, and then you raise it to your 2, right? And then when you differentiate what is inside, what is inside, it's 2x plus 3. Then that's how you have your 2. So your 2 then, times 3, the 3 that is from the... Hmm? Gonna be six. Two times three, six. Yeah. So six times two times three is six, and then that x it doesn't have a coefficient because it's only x. Um, it doesn't have what an exponent. It's only x. So it's six x. That's how we we got six x. Oh, I had six x squared. That's what I'm asking. Like, okay, how, why do you get your squared from? What do yeah, you differentiate? I don't I have 6x yes. me. Yeah? 6x. I had 6x in the end. Lerato, ah, just post your solution quickly. Post your solution quickly. No, what Lerato is saying is that he heard someone saying 6x squared. Yeah, not that he has 6x squared. Oh. Yeah. So he was just asking how is it 6x squared? Oh, okay. So, did you uh, 
Oh yeah. Can can you repeat the final answer, please? It's two x plus three to the power cubed minus mm -hmm. six x two x plus three squared. Mm -hmm. The numerator. Then the denominator. It's two x plus three to the power six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I got. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Oh, then it's fine then. Okay. Hey, I didn't get that, guys. Okay. If that's the answer, I didn't get that. What did you get, Levon? Huh, I got one over. Okay. Um, open bracket, 2x plus 3, close bracket to the power 3. Yeah. Minus 6x divided by open bracket 2x plus 3, close bracket to the power 2. Okay. So you split it, your, your solution, like you, you made, huh? you did it by parts. What did you, how do you come to, how do you get to 1 over 6, uh, the answer that you got? Oh, like... I started uh, changing uh, that thing. Okay, I, I started changing my denominator and make it numer numerator. I can say it's a numerator. No. Yeah, so I get x multiplied by open bracket 2x plus 3, close bracket to the power negative 3. So I treat it as a product rule. Uh, yeah, I use product rule. Oh, remember the hint said you must use quotient rule. So there is a formula for quotient rule. So you are not supposed to take the denominator and put it to your numerator. So that's the first mistake yeah, that you was hint, hint, remember, like it was hint. And then hint is not uh, what? It's not part of the It's not part of the Okay. There's something on our ears, yeah. Um, yesterday, sorry about this. Oh, sorry. Okay. Before you raise something. Yesterday, Theo explained that when you deal with a quotient rule, it's whereby you have a function over a function, right? So that's what we had. So if you had a constant over a function, that's when you were going to take your denominator and take it up. To the top. And then you yeah. To the top. Yes. So now you have a function over a function. So even if they didn't give you a hint, because you have a function over a function, you need to know that you should be using a quotient rule. Mm. Why yeah. V is not here? Sorry? Why V skipped town? Who skipped town? Who? Le, we are explaining to someone who skipped town. Oh, she's gone. Yes. Oh. She spoke about load shading. It's no, six. she did Maybe say she's, she's affected. Load she... Yeah, she did say. You know, she oh, really did yeah. say. Yes. She did. But, yeah, can you? Thanks for explaining it. No, it was not me. It was Kia. Oh, Kia. My apologies. <laughs> Kia, thanks for explaining it. Hey. <laughs> I'm so sorry, ladies. Please forgive can me. Can I just add? This one, yes, so, with, so with, the, with this solution here, I think it can be sim it can be further simplified to what is this? 2x, so to 2x plus 3 in brackets mm -hmm. minus 6x all over 2x plus 3 to the fourth. Yes, yes, that's true. Okay. Because I need to do they always want us? Do they always want us to further simplify? As far as I know, generally, if we get to this step, you're fine. Yeah. 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 Generally, if you get to the step, you're usually very fine. But then I think I'd, I'd say it's best practice to actually practice simplifying because there are some as equations that you yeah. can. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can of simplify course. the questions that are simplifiable, that you can simplify and they won't take much of your time. Because yeah. remember, during the examination, yeah, there's no time. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, no. Can you see you and Dennis are making very valid points? Thanks, guys. Uh, okay. If can I can. Sorry, sir. Yes, ma'am. I agree yes, with well, you, well, sir. Well. It's Erica, sir. Yes, Erica, go ahead. I, yes. I agree with your answer, but you can simplify it even more. 
if you look at your nominator, you can take out open bracket 2x plus 3, 3 close bracket um, to the power of 2. Okay. And then you Is this with, yes, you can, uh, you can simplify the answer even more. Yes, that's exactly what I was saying. Yeah, and then I get the answer on the screen, yes. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. So you end up with 2x plus 3 minus 6x all over 2x plus 3 to the fourth. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I, I missed agree that also. part. <laughs> Thank Do you. we Sorry. agree with the... Yes, Erika, you are still talking. Sorry. Yes. I just said thank you. No, 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 no. Before you said thank you. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't hear where... what you were saying. I missed the part where Dennis explained it. Sorry. The simplifying. I missed the part where he's, he simplified it. Sorry. Oh, do you, should I ask Dennis to, ex, to explain? No, sir. I did it the same way as Dennis did explain. Are you sure, Erika? Yes. <laughs> I oh. got the same answer, sir. Okay, thank you. If the if there is an agreement, do you allow me then to proceed? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. okay now let's go here. Not here. Not even here. Not even here. Not even here. Yeah. Not even here. Not even here. Are we going to a different book altogether? <laughs> <laughs> Not <man>. even here. <laughs> hey, I'm looking for 2.5e.3. 2.5e.3. Aha. Mm. Here we are. Mm. Now, let's start with number two. How many minutes do you have? Uh, two? Please give us so three, three minutes. minutes. Three minutes. Okay, three you minutes. all have three minutes. Number two. Send up number two. Thank you, sir. Yes. Please zoom. Sorry? Zoom in. Oh. I see Z. Zoom in. You see Z? Yes, two Z. You see two Z. Should I zoom in? Yes. Yeah, I can see it's an X now. It's fine. Anyone who volunteers to share that? Is there anyone who volunteers to share their answer with us? It's possible. Yes, sir. Yes, Magwena. Please go ahead. I got four. Into five minus two X to the power negative three. Please repeat and talk Agreed. to them. Into five minus two x all to the power negative three. Agreed. I agree. Uh, you guys agree with me? I agree with so, you. Gonna, which question was it? Number one? Two. Number two. Oh, okay. Uh, may I request to do it quickly? Yeah, please. Okay. I got four multiplied open bracket five minus two X or raised to the power negative three. Please talk to them in the Amazon. Uh, am I correct, guys? I got the same mm -hmm. thing. And then my final answer is four. In the numerator, I have four. And then in the denominator, I have open bracket five minus two X, close bracket raised to the power three. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I also got the same thing. Beautiful answer. I agree. Thank you, brother. 
thank you members for having attempted this and then having found what uh, we were looking for. Uh, the next one is number four. Mm. How many? So uh, can I suggest? Yes, Mrs. Hello, sir. Hi, sir. Anyone here? Sir, can you do three first? <laughs> yeah, three, sir. Three first, sir. Yes. Can you do three first? Not now. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, three, okay, P. Yeah. Okay. Okay, M1P, M1 you are in Spusiso. Someone was talking before the two of you. Is it Kia? Okay. It's me, sir. No, sir, I thought you, you, you called me. You called my name. Oh, okay. Lerado, yes. What were you saying, Brad? Two in six minutes, three and four, because I'm already at four. We are starting already. So we can do three and four in six minutes. I don't know about that as. Do we agree with Lerado? You said six minutes for both three and yes. four. Yeah, sure. What are the others saying? Yes, please comment, family. Sorry, what was the question? Sure, Lerado sure. suggested we do three and four. <coughs> six let's minutes. Do yeah, it. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for it. In six minutes. Yes. Meaning three minutes each. Yes. Okay, thank you. Busiso is the answer. Thank you, Busiso. Busiso, for both? Yes, sir, for both, sir. Oh, okay. I was bored, sir, so. Oh, oh, oh okay. Well, doesn't take yes. long for you to get bored. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Son of the soil. Kia yeah, is done for both as well. Kia, yes. Son of the soil. Are you done, son of the soil? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, request Dennis to share with us what he found in number three. After that, he will proceed to number four. Dennis, the stage is yours. Please dance for us. <laughs> it's for dancing. Hey, okay. what an elaborate <laughs> use of words. <laughs> <laughs> dance for us, Dennis. Okay, um, number three, right? Not with much certainty, but yeah, here we go. Um, I got negative three pi sine sine of pi x times cos squared pi x. Are we on the same stage? Please start from the beginning. Sorry I? about that. Sorry? Please start from the beginning. Sorry about that. Okay. So for number three, I got negative three pi sine pi okay. of x. Okay. Times cos squared pi x. Yeah. And then are we are we together? Yeah. Okay. No, I Sorry? Yeah. Okay, and then number four, I got three Wait. times. Sorry? Can you please repeat your answer for number three? Yeah, I, that's why I'm asking you for if we're together, hey? Um, unless I'm on a different stage, but yeah. Are we three. together? Okay. <laughs> Negative sorry, three pi sorry, 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 sorry. Negative three pi. Mm -hmm. Sine pi of x times cos squared pi x. Yeah, with not much certainty. Okay, all right, all right. Corrections? Lerata agrees. From me, no. Okay, let me proceed then. You'll correct. Number four, that's three times 2x cubed minus x squared plus 6x plus 1 all squared times 6x squared minus 2x plus 6. Beautiful. That's right. Marvelous. <laughs> okay, the one we don't agree is number three. Number three, I agree me. I didn't I say agree, I don't agree. Huh? As long as you said cos squared, that's the part I'm after, Anji. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Yo, I, I get you, I get you, I get you. All right. Say, so can I ask a question? Uh, we proceed. Yes. I also want to ask a question. I'll ask a question like overall. On this question number three, cause... Mm. Uh, you, uh, sorry, Lerado. Sorry, Lerado. Uh, my sister, who was talking? Who was talking? After, who spoke after you, Lerado? Who needed to ask a question? It was, it was Magwena. Okay, Magwena. Please follow after Lerado's question. Yeah? Okay. All right. Uh, Say, so on this part, of course, three, cause to the power three. Mm. Like, it's it's some kind of, for example, in my case, I separated the two. Okay. And then I added negative three in the front. Like, I just wrote negative three. Like, mm. the negative is for one cos, like negative sine times three cos squared. Mm. Uh, and then the negative sign, I took it to the front. So I was wondering, why does the cos squared, why do we not, like, differentiate it? But we differentiate one part of it only. I know it's a rule, but why? That's what I'm asking in general. Please come back again. Like on cos to the power three, you make it cos squared times a single cos. And then that cos you differentiate it to turn into negative sign. Why does the cos squared not get differentiated? Only the single cos get differentiated. That's why I'm asking. Okay. For me, to respond to you appropriately, hey, somehow I got confused in the process. Uh, me, me too, with the question. Um, do you mind asking again, Rato? Sorry about this. I think I've got his point. Hey. Do you mind if I was coming, guys? Please do. I also think yes, yes. Please come in. Okay, so Lerato, based on that equation of cos cubed, ne, to simplify it so that you understand why we're differentiating cos ones, you can rewrite that as cos to the king in that bracket pi times x all raised to the power three. So take that three and make it in that larger bracket then you will see when you do your differentiating, it's only cost, sorry, it's only cost that you will be differentiating because it's going to be just cost. The chain rule, when the three yes. is big, it's and then it's right now, and then you subtract one, exactly, that one. And then it will be cost squared, and then times yes. that differentiating of cost. Ah. Exactly. And you then you get your sign, and you also further uh, differentiate what is in that bracket. So remember, it's a function within a function within a function. So it's like you oh. had three functions nesting in this one. That's why you had to go that far. Okay. Which means I've, I've been always doing this thing, but I couldn't see it's the chain rule because the three, it was inside instead of outside. Mm -hmm. ah, it's fine mm -hmm. now. I understand. I'm fine. So you can always rewrite it like that. Same with that square root where you raise it to the power of negative half. Even this three, you can just raise it to the bigger bracket and you'll see everything will become smooth from there. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Do. Because but like sure. first, I did something which is not allowed in med, so but let's leave that there. Mm. Oh, and Dennis, thanks for dancing for us. You did a great job, man. Hey, I have to have the dancing shoes ready. Hey? <laughs> thanks, brother. Cool. Hey. Thank you, brothers, for helping out. Magwena? Magwena? Did you hear me? I didn't hear you. I'm answered. I've got Are you sure? The answer from what? Yes. Okay. So? so? Hello. If no one minds, can they like please explain for me question three? I I had a little bit of like difficulties in answering that question, especially um the cos cos um uh, pi x everything to the squared. Can someone like explain question three for me, please? Yeah, 
I don't mind. Is it Kanye? Yes, sir. Is it Kanye? Yes, sir. I don't mind. Okay. Um, Anyone, please go ahead. You can, you can go ahead. Okay, Kanye. Yeah. So we can do the whole thing quick, quick, now. Mm hmm Okay, cool. So what I would do then for the first step is I need to, we've got cos cubed and then in the brackets we've got pi and x, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you should always do in these things when you want to get the, the derivative is first take, you see that cubed? Mm -hmm. put, take it to the end of the equation, then put everything else in the bracket because it doesn't change anything. Still the same thing. Mm -hmm. So now you have got a bracket and then that bracket is to the third power. Are we good there? That bracket is to the what? So you see the cubed for the cos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It basically, because it basically applies to the cos and whatever's in the bracket, because I think what's in the bracket is basically the angle of cos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, to make it to make it visually appealing in inverted commas, we move that cubed so that it apply, it applies to everything. So then we then have cos pi x all to the power of three. Am I making sense? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're making then sense. Then when we there, you see where we're going now, right? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Once we've moved it, we then do our chain rule. So we bring the three down and then we mm -hmm. minus one. And then we yeah. then have three cos and then we've got the pi x and then it's now to the power of two, right? Yeah, yeah. So now we've just done the whole derivative of the outside, keeping the inside the same, and then it's multiplied by the derivative of the inside. Now we're working on the derivative of the inside, right? Inside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then because of chain rule, we work in steps towards the end. I need Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so we start with we start at cos. What's the derivative of cos? Negative sign. It's negative sign. So it's negative sign, and then we keep what we keep the rest the same. So it's negative sign, and then the angle then is pi x. I need. Mm -hmm. and then we move one step in. Now we're working on the inside. Now the inside we've got the inside we've got um pi and x, right? And then what do you think when you see that? Okay. Product right. rule, right? And yeah. Then it's going to be pi times the derivative of x plus mm -hmm. x times the derivative of pi, and then that answer is basically pi. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yes, okay. All right, Perfect. thank you very much. I just wanted to understand the cos pi x, everything squared. Yes. That's the only part that I missed. Thank yeah, you very so much. It's all it's all good. It's all good. Thank you. Sure. Um, say, can I add something? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, this is for the colleagues. They must not confuse when an a trick identity or something. When an exponent is applied to a trick identity, it's applied before the bracket. And when it's applied inside the bracket, they shouldn't confuse that. I don't know if I'm making sense. True. Can you please repeat? I didn't okay. quite get that. When you have, for example, you have cos cubed. When uh -huh. you have cos cubed, that cubed applies to cos, not not the angle of cos. Okay. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, then sometimes when the exponent is after, after when you don't have brackets, you usually sometimes don't put brackets. You must make mm -hmm. sure that the cos and the exponent are together as you see cos cubed. Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay. Now I understand you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, is it clear now, my sister? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Much. Thank you, family. Thank you for helping out. Thank now. you. Thank you, Lerato. Uh, Lerato, how many minutes for five and six? It's always, now I think they're mastering it. In four, they can yeah. do it. I like how he says they. <laughs> yeah. Please be realistic. Five and six. Five and six. Aye, right, so can you please have... Kia and Lerato. May I please request you to talk to each other? And then, first of all, on number five, we do one at a time. First, talk to each other about number five. Once you reach an agreement, then you talk to us. When you are done, then you will go to number six. You will first talk to each other again on number six. Then you will talk to us. 
Okay. Yeah. Can continue. Yeah, again, sir. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> sir likes. Yeah. Okay, what I got, I'm with you, Legato. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on, dear. Don't change here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, next it will be Ishmael and Ndumiso. In the next. So you're about uh, to say something very important. I think you're changing your mind. So please <laughs> continue. <laughs> oh, continue. Must, I continue, must I continue to change my mind here? Yes, sir. feel free to do that. Sir. <laughs> okay. Let me Just pay. Okay, Lerato, what did I say? Theo. No, okay. no, no. Not Theo. <laughs> okay. okay, let me do this. Okay, uh, Gia, may I please, may I humbly request, to, may I humbly request to stick to my decision of pairing you with Lerato? May I may I consider the, the, the nomination that you did you consider to be you? I will. Sorry, may I? <laughs> may I you what? <laughs> I did I didn't get that, uh, Kia. May you continue with that nomination of to yourself? Uh Kia, I can't do it because I don't have my dancing shoes with me today. So ah, uh, I'm gonna be very clumsy. Okay, uh, Kia, it's all right. Uh is my Ismail? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Lerado? Yes, sir. Ismail is on the floor. May I request the two of you to lead us? Okay. Uh, Thank you, sir. Number okay. five. You're welcome. Number five, what did you get, Ismail? Uh, so I got minus two cos x. Uh, all over sine to the minus 3x. I agree. Thank you, Ishmael. Yeah. You said you got, uh, got negative 2 cos yeah. x. All over sine to the power of negative 3x. Isn't that positive 3x? It'd be positive. Yeah. The sine. Positive 3x. Please. Oh, is it look positive 3x? Yeah, because remember, you're moving the sign back to the bottom. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes, okay, sorry. At the bottom, it's yes. Okay, yeah, sorry. It's positive 3, yeah. It's all good. It's all fine. Thank you. Uh, can I just, sorry, guys, just one thing quickly. Um, I don't know if anybody finds this helpful, but I found this link for memorizing uh, trig identity derivatives. So I'm just going to post okay. it on the chat for those who are interested. Just have a look, and I think it makes it much easier to remember. Is this the yeah. one from Cole's? Thank is this you. one from Cole's Thank World you. of Mathematics? Uh, it's the one from I don't know if it's Cole's World. We does sec sec ten and cosec yeah, it's cosec. A, it's, it's a lady, right? Yeah, I think so. It's a lady. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, same same link. And uh, yeah, got that one too. That, no that, that made it a lot easier for me. Yeah. Thanks, man. No problem. Number six, what did you get? Uh, so I got uh, negative three, uh, open brackets, 10x plus sine x, uh, close brackets to the power of negative four, and then six squared plus cos x. Yeah. Uh, multiplied it? by six squared plus cos x. Yes, I agree. Fine. Yeah, I agree too. So, um, Ishma. Yeah. Ishmael. Uh, Ishmael. Yes. So in the interest of not having negative power, negative powers, we could also then move the 10 X plus sine X to the negative four to the bottom so that that negative four becomes a positive, right? Yes, yes, yes. You're right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay I cool. forgot about that step. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Can you repeat your answer for number six, please? Um, so it's so it's negative three, open brackets, um, six squared, 
x plus cos x, close brackets, mm -hmm. and then all over tan x plus sin x to the power of 4. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you very much. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. I, I also agree. I also got that. Makwena. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, Ishmael. Yes. Ishmael. Uh, the, I want to get something. Which one is the derivative of cot? C O T X. Um, so, okay. Uh, so, let, uh, I, I can tell you what it is, but it's, but uh, to remember it, if you watch that video right at the end, uh, it's like 10, 10 minutes. So the way the guys, the way they do it is you, you start off by writing sec, then you put an arrow to, to the right and then sec again. And then you put an arrow to the left after sec and you put 10. So the way that works is if you, if you're doing, if you, if you're looking for the derivative of sec, you go sec 10. If you're doing the derivative of 10, you go wherever the arrow points, which is sec squared. Then for cot, uh, it's, uh, it's cosec, cosec, cot. Now the second cosec, the one in the middle, has a, has a negative, and the arrows go in the same direction. So the, the first arrow goes left, and then the one by cot goes, goes right. So if, you're doing, if you need the derivative for cosec, it's going to be negative cosec cot. And if you're doing the derivative of cot, it's going to be uh, cosec squared, a negative cosec squared. Oh, nice. I'll watch the video now. Nice. Uh, yeah. So if you... What are we saying? Oh, we are agree with the argument. Yes, we're in agreement. We agree with the... Agreed. Oh. Okay. For both of them. Yes. And is mine. For both. Do they agree with you on both uh, for both answers? Yes, they do, sir. Yes, they. Um. Yes, we agree, sir. So, may I also say something quickly? <laughs> yes, please. For everybody in the group, everything that Ishmael just said, I literally just posted the picture on there for everybody to see, in case you're curious. You can you, you can use this to get the trig derivatives and you can use it to get the trig integrals for double functions as well. But yeah, I hope it helps. It really makes everything easier. Nice picture, nice picture there. Sure, man. Oh. Say. Yes. No, I sent it to you. Sure, say. Not sure, man. Yeah, so as oh. you can see, for you, the derivative of cotangent is going to be negative cosecant squared. And you see how, right? Yes, I can see the picture there. Cool, perfect. Thank you, Lerato and Ishmael, for leading us. And thank you, members, for engaging them and then even finding what we're looking for. Now, let's work out seven and eight. How yeah. many minutes uh, gear for both of them? Four each. Five for, for both. each. Five for both. Oh, sorry? Five minutes for both. Five for both. Yes. Okay. Yeah, five sounds bad. Thank yes. you, Gia. Not each for both. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Two and a half for each. Okay. Yo. Thank you, Gia. So it's seven and eight, right? Seven and eight, yes. Okay. Is it cos to the power seven x? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't see proper. It's yeah. cos seven x. <laughs> I can't see proper. The summers inquire what's happening there. You I... said seven and eight, isn't it? I say this yes. thing. Is it the mm. one you showed up? The one you showed up of on the table. Seven and eight, Theo and yes, Tando, sir. please le lead us on number seven. You first talk between yourself before you engage us. After that, you go to number eight. Thank you. Sure. 
Sure, Tando. Hello, Theo. Let's start with seven. What did you get for seven? Um, I got two X. Okay. It's number yes. seven. Two, two yes. X. Mm -hmm. Open bracket cause fourth X. Ne? Cause to the power four of X. Then close okay. bracket. Okay. Then minus two X. Cos cubed X. Times sine X. Okay. Um. Do you mind going through the last part of it for me? So you remember you told me about the two x and the cos cos four cos to the fourth power x, right? Yes. I'm I'm good at that. Let's do everything that comes after that, please. Okay. Okay. Please repeat if you don't mind. You said I must repeat which one first. The second part. The second part. Please. You captured two x open bracket cause for x. Yes, yes, I got that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Just the bracket. Then I say it minus two x. Okay. Times cos cube. Okay. Cos cube x. Ne? Then okay. times sine x. Okay. 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 Can I can I ask for um a favor you see the minus 2x yes 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 do you mind if we look at that one together i have a feeling one of us might be incorrect because i'll tell you why i got minus 4x i got minus 4 sorry So we got minus four, minus four x. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Minus so four. Oh, is that Okay. So can you hear me? Thanks, Papa. Yes. Okay, then move. Hmm. And guess I wish. Yeah, I'm still with you. <laughs> okay. So basically, my second part is x squared. So it's a bracket, and in the bracket, I've got x squared. And then in the second bracket, I've got minus four, and that's multiplied by sine x, and that's multiplied by cos to the cubed x. Okay. Yeah. So what I say is, before we communicate with the colleagues, are you okay with us? Let's do the second part together. Is that okay with you? Yeah, you say that it's two x, cos so, four x, four. Yes. I mean, cos. How can I mention that it's cos to the fourth power? power or I say cos, yeah, or cos x to the fourth power. Ne? Yeah, yeah. I, I got that minus four x uh, squared, then times cos. Yes. Uh, uh, what? Times cos to the third power to the x. Third power. Times yeah, sine x. Then, then times sine of x. Yes, I, I, I got that. I got together. that, then I, I simplified that. Oh, now further. Yeah, Aye. I tried Aye. to simplify it. That, so oh, just, I must so leave just, it like that. Uh, I would leave it like that after that, but I mean, it's up to you. But just to confirm, before we give the answer to all the, to all the colleagues, the final answer then for us is 2x, and that 2x is multiplied by cos to the fourth power x, right? Yes. Then and then it's minus, minus 4x, 4x squared, right? Squared times cos and that is multiplied by cos to the third power x. Yes. And that then is multiplied by sine x, right? Ah, Tando, you're yes. a star. You're a star. I like it. Thank you. Uh, Colleagues, please comment. Agreed. Thank you. Agreed. Happy, Agreed. happy on my side. Okay. I agree. Ah, thank you. Agree. Thank you. Tendo is a star. Yes, sir. Yes, Tendo and Theo. Please talk. 
Yeah, something's up with my tablet. I think it's about to crash. So I just want to give my answer for number eight quickly. Then I'll, I'm just going to try and reboot it after that. Okay, it no keeps, problem. Let's, it keeps blinking in the screen. It. Okay, for number eight, no I have for number eight, I have negative seven cos open bracket cos seven x closed bracket open bracket sine seven x closed bracket. Uh, and then whoa, whoa, last bracket, hang on. After the bracket of cos 7x, there is a bracket, then what should I write? It's open, it's open bracket, yes. sign, open bracket, sign 7x, close bracket. Okay, meaning is 7 cos, is 7 cos x, open bracket cos 7x. Negative 7. Negative 7 cos x, ne? Negative 7 cos. It's negative seven cos open bracket yes. cos seven x close bracket yes. open bracket sign seven x close bracket. Thank you, brother. I kept that. Thank you, thank Thanks. you, thank you. All right, so, Tando. Uh, oh, Lato, you can go first. Go first. Uh, like on this thing, the product rule. It does not matter. Like whether you start with a uh, g of x prime g, f of x prime g, or g of x prime f. Yes, doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Uh, shall we continue? Yes, okay. Yes, please. Okay, Tando. Hello, Theo. Um, I'll go first this time because you went first the last time, if that's okay with you. So yeah, okay. for number eight, the derivative is negative seven cos, and then we've got a bracket. Well, okay, let's say negative seven cos and there's a bracket, and then we've got cos of seven x, and that's also multiplied by sine of seven x. Yes, I what agree did? with you. I got that, oh, yes. So you got the same? Yes, yes. Okay, but just to clarify, after, and you remember I said negative seven, so that first cos, it doesn't have an x, right? It's just cos. Yeah, it's a negative seven cos. Yeah, cos, ah, I, I tried to simplify it from cos open bracket cos of, ah, of okay, seven okay. And x mm. times negative seven sine of seven x then. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So you just went a step further than me and um, Dumiso. Yes, I agree with you. No, but thank you, ma'am. Answer is great. Thank you so much. Colleagues, please comment. I agree, I agree with you. I agree. Ah, bravo. Agreed. Uh, Theo. Yes, sir. Can you send your working on the group? Yeah. I got the same answer, but like, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know. I don't understand how I got to my aunt. I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Yeah. I'm okay. Looked at the Do you want me to send the workings for eight? Yes. With like, okay. I will let if it do it. I will let if it has, it. if it has a formula, please write it down. Because I looked at the question and then I wrote the answer without no working um, step. It doesn't have a formula, but you know what? Let me do this. Um, please wait. Give me. Sorry for delaying you guys. Because I've got low chilling. No problem. No problem. The, the camera quality is a bit rubbish, but I know how to fix it. Um, let me just do it quickly. So, Lerato, I don't have the formula written, but I think what we can do, which is going to be easier, we'll just go through it together quickly. Shouldn't take more than two minutes, really. <laughs> if that's okay with you. Theo, can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, um, Loretta is talking about a formula. Didn't we use the chain rule? Yes, that's it, basically. I just didn't yeah. write it, but yes, it is the chain rule, literally. Loretta, the formula is the chain rule. But like... Yeah, I, 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 I get what he's trying to ask. I, I yeah. get it. I get what he's trying to ask. But it's fine. I just posted it. Just give it a few seconds for it to show, please. There, yeah, I'll read. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So do you see how we did it? So 
literally. Um, again, do I have your permission to go through it with you? As quick as you can. Okay, cool. Thanks. So again, the differentiator, the, I did that. I got the derivative of sine, which is cos, and I left everything the same. And then I moved in. So the derivative of the outside keeping the inside the same. So it's cos multiplied by it, it's cos multiplied what what was left over, which is cos seven x. And then for the next step, I got the derivative of the inside. And now the derivative of cos is negative sine and it. Mm -hmm. And then you keep the seven x the same. Multiplied by the derivative of the rest, which is now seven x. And what's the derivative of seven x? The derivative of seven x is seven. That's basically it. And then I just collected like terms. So I then collected the negative from the negative size from the negative seven x sine seven x and the seven. Then I got the negative seven. That's how I got that. Multiplied that with the cos times cos seven x times sine seven x. I hope it makes sense. Yeah, so like is it allowed? Like what are do we? What do you mean? Uh, I can see there, and the sign. Yeah. Yeah. You derive it into yeah. sine x. Yes. And then you derive, you put the bracket, of course, the way it is. And then you derive the inside, of course, and also derive what's inside sign. Yes. 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 And I'm, glad, I'm glad you asked that. So fundamentally, and I don't, I don't mean to patronize, but do you understand why it's called chain rule? No. Um, you see, and again, I used to feel the same way. And then when I thought about it, logically, it made sense. So look at it this way. It's called a chain rule because picture yourself pulling a chain towards yourself. The chain itself was long, but you pull it piece by piece. So you work your way into the chain, literally piece by piece, by starting from the from the from the, from the front, moving into the back. So think about it that way. If the chain is the whole sum, the first piece you work on is the sign, right? And then you derive Ooh. the sign. Yeah, right. And then after you've done that, you move to the next piece of the chain, which is then going to be the cause. And then after the cause, the next piece of the chain is the seven x. I hope there are, three, there are three things in this thing. Well, yeah, I guess. But because um, I mean, with the first step, let me just look. With the first step, we derive the sign, and then we were left with the cos 7x. Then after that, we derive what is inside. Well, it's basically chain rule, actually. Uh, I understand it's the chain rule, but like, I didn't expect you to derive inside an angle. Uh, sure. Well, you, you kind of, you can, you kind of do, you know, and you know why I say you do. Um, cause look at it this way. Um, I'm gonna look for one way. It's actually very important. Do you remember when we did number five? Oh yeah, I so look remember. At this way. You see, with five at the end, we at, with five, Angiti, we have. We move this. We move the sine squared x to the top. Then we did the, the we derived it, and then we move the negative two to the front minus one. Blah blah blah. But you see, in the end, we have the sine x, right? Mm -hmm. But remember, with the sine x, to get that derivative, it's still chain rule says that it's it's the derivative of sine x is cos x, and then it's still multiplied by the derivative of the inside, and the inside is the angle. It's just that because the x is one, we actually don't think about it. But the full uh, the full answer is actually derivative of sine x multiplied by the derivative of x. It doesn't change cool. anything, but yeah, it doesn't make sense now. So in this case for number eight, it's actually the derivative of negative sine, negative seven sine x multiplied by the derivative of seven x. So you derive cool. literally right to the end. It's just that subconsciously, we just don't do the last step because we all know that the derivative of x is one. But technically speaking, when you write the whole thing out, it's the derivative of sine, keeping the inside, which is then, in our case would have been the x the same, multiplied by the inside, which is then, multiplied by the derivative of the inside, which is then the x, but that is one. So we always subconsciously just, just drop that one. I hope now it makes sense. It makes sense, makes sense. Perfect, perfect. It okay. makes so much sense on my side too. I'm glad, I'm glad. Thank you for that picture of like pulling a chain, like just yeah. light bulbs, light yeah. bulbs. I know, right? Where literally you pull piece by piece till you get to the end of the chain, then there's nothing for you to pull anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you for that. Anytime. Anytime. Yeah, that, that was that was a perfect example. Hey, there was a video I once watched also, but it, it actually depicted the same image. Okay. Yeah, that was that was great. Because basically okay. deriving every function, wherever yeah. there's a function, you have to derive, yeah. leave nothing untouched. Yeah, you don't 
to get to the end of the chain, you don't skip any, you don't skip any pieces. Every single piece, yeah. one by one, till there's nothing left. Yeah. Um, wow. I know. Wow. I know. I'm, gl- I'm glad we all learned oh, yes. Thank you, everybody, for sharing, for learning together.